Oh, uh, Ojibwe. So Ojibwe is the largest nation. There's over uh, three million Ojibwe people in uh, North America. Ready? Kakage Gewabnashi, Anishinaabe Dio Nine. My name is Ravenhawk. I am Indian man, psychic, and you're watching Pepper Scott Television. Okay, we have a volunteer from the audience. Uh, tell us your name. Hi, I'm Tia Cools. What is it you do for a living? I am a professional dancer, singer, and actress. Okay, and have you ever met uh, Richard before? No, I haven't. Okay, so uh, we have this set up, and uh, I guess you're going to read uh, her poem and uh, be able to tell the future. And uh, this, uh, by the way, uh, somebody can check back this website down the road at some point and find out if your prediction is true. Oh, yeah. It's, it'll come true. And you, have, <laughs> you looked me in the eye when you said that, too. Okay, yeah. here we go. I'm a psychic, and I'm not worried. Think about <laughs> it. Okay. Well, Tia. It's great to meet you. You too. Yes. Let me take. Actually, you know, with palmistry, uh, there's a difference between the left hand and the right hand. Mm -hmm. In that, the left hand is uh, first of all, you know, the palms. Uh, just for uh, trivia sake, is the um, our only proof as human beings of a pre-written destiny. People say, "Is there such thing as a pre-written destiny? Is there not? Is there those lines were written on your palms by God before you were even born?" And we can read them and see exactly where your life path has gone. It's the only physical proof of a pre-written destiny. The left hand, as a general rule, is the way your palm, or <laughs> the way your palm, the way your life is uh, predestined to go, because we're all aware of our past before we come into this world. That's why we um, all have, we're all here to accomplish uh, certain things. We all have life purposes, life lessons. The right hand is how you've changed it, because there's still such thing as freedom of will. Even though there's predestined lessons, we still have the choice on our road through life to be able to say, yes, I choose to learn my lessons in this way at this time, or no, I would rather learn them in another way at another time. And that's where the adventure begins. That's what makes it fun, see? Hmm. So now this is your, sorry, it's my left, your right hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> now, um, wow, you know, the first thing, here, tea is palm. It's, it's like a road map, <laughs> okay? This, uh, this is incredible. I don't know where to start. You, Tia, I'll tell you something. In the amount of years that Tia has lived, um, she probably has uh, double the amount of years in life experience. This is somebody whose road necessarily hasn't been harder than most, but from time to time it seemed longer. Somebody, see, the line that goes across the top of your palm right here is your love line. Okay, and... Depending on how narrow, how straight, how well defined the lines are, will tell me how uh, cut and dry your life has been along the way. This is somebody who comes with a lot of baggage. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> you hide it very, very well. But look at all these crosses all the way along your love line. It's uh, I'm not sure which one's the actual line. Okay, but it also means that you're somebody that's a bit of a healer yourself, because don't forget we only walk a walk so that we can talk a talk. See, people think. First of all, the lifeline is the one that comes this way up the palm and surrounds the thumb. It's usually the very first line on your hand. And people think you read the lines from here to here, but you don't. You read them from here to here. It's also a common misconception that how long you're going to live, you can tell by the lifeline. But that's not true. How long a person is going to live, a person's longevity, is determined by the lines that go across the wrist this way. And those are kind of called the lines of prolongation. T is also going to live to be very, very old. As a general rule, it's hard to pinpoint exact age, but um, I'd say at least great-grandchildren, because you figure 25, 30 years for each line, and of course, the straighter, the uh, more well-defined they are, the, the healthier she's going to be. You've got 25, 50, you've got 75, not 100, but maybe 85, 80 anyway. She's going to live to be very old, so if longevity doesn't run in your family, you're breaking a pattern, <laughs> okay? This is, uh, T is going to have two marriages. The lines for marriages <laughs> in the palm are uh, right in between the love line, which is the very top line across the top, and the base of the uh, small finger. But I already feel you've had one, but I don't feel it was a marriage because the line is so short, I feel it was probably a marital situation. 
could have been a broken engagement or the one serious relationship you had where you talked about marriage. This is somebody who hasn't had a lot of relationships. She may have had a love life, but as far as serious relationships, one, possibly two. Um, your marriage um, isn't actually coming for another couple of years. She's still trying to find herself, okay? That's all these crosses in here along the love line. Let's see how that's changed from your left hand. See, this is somebody who, even as a young child, this is somebody you never felt like you could please when you were younger. See, and that's where all this started with. Um, the way the line curves, I'm going to have to say because the, your, what they call your headline, the way you think, is the one directly under the lifeline. Because it points up, I'm going to say that that was your father, but definitely a dominant one in the family, okay? Mm -hmm. That's where all of her baggage started, and we don't want to uh, broadcast her personal details to the whole world, but I'll tell you, that's a half-hour reading in itself, mm -hmm. okay? Her hardest lesson to learn has been that she doesn't have to give to prove that she's worth loving. She's learning that. That's good. <laughs> you, um, her career line is straight and narrow. It crosses her headline perfectly. This is somebody who always make money for herself. Sometimes you haven't always been proud of what you've done, but you will always make money for yourself, and that's because of all these crosses in the uh, lifeline here again. Most of your, um, because um, the way these lines intersect here is a high degree of creativity, okay? But I don't think it's literal artistic in the sense of painting. Mm -hmm. But I don't necessarily feel it's music like you mentioned earlier. I feel that most of your money will come through aspects of performance art. But I'm not going to necessarily um, limit that to music. I think, that, uh, I think that your talent there is for writing. And I have no idea why. I don't think that you've put much time or effort into it. That's obvious by your reaction, but it's also something that's not in here. But then it's one of those elephant in the cherry tree things. Maybe if you've never spent much time and you're still searching for success, maybe mm -hmm. there's something to it, see? So maybe if you decided to put some time and focus some effort into there, you might find more stability. But your life's going to be good this year. Great. Great. Thank you very much. How would you say that is? Is that Very good. <laughs> you have to come see me sometime in person. For sure. Great. <laughs> Kekage Gewabanashi, Anishinaabe Deonine. My name is Ravenhawk. I'm Indian man, psychic, and you're watching Pepper Scott Television. Do you have a dream catcher? Not on me. <laughs>